for the creation of an agency that serves the interest of government and big business. So that is the great dilemma right now in Hopi land. In 1936, an election was held. Traditional Hopis refused to participate in the white people's electoral process. As a result, the tribal council was established by the votes of a minority of voting Hopis. Today, only five of the 12 Hopi villages have chosen to be represented on the tribal council. His puppet government is replacement for whatever traditional government would have, ex would have existed. And uh, it's the rubber stamp. It's the signature on the contracts by which the minerals are taken away. Because they, the council or any in Indian bureau, it think ask any permission from from the Hopi that are leaders. It is ruled by the Secretary of Interior. That's in their constitution. It's in the Tribal Council constitution that he has the final yay or nay over anything that the Tribal Council government does. I think it's going to come out since we have a uh, few documents how how the government created this council over here. We wanted to abolish the council. Then if, if we clean this mess over here, get rid of the council, all the other native people will be free too. In 1882, a reservation was set aside for the Hopi. It included lands that were occupied by members of the Navajo tribe. Centered on coal-rich Black Mesa, this area later became known as the Joint Use Area. Congress divided the Joint Use Area between the two tribes in 1974. Thousands of Navajos caught on the wrong side of the fence were forced by law to move. Some are ignoring the order and refuse to relocate either from the partition land or from the Peabody Coal Company lease area. The coal, strip mined from Black Mesa, is used to fire power plants which, in turn, provide electricity for southwestern cities. They opened that mine to, um, to employ some people up there for uh, jobs for the local people. We knew that Someday, that uh, this, uh, these ignorant, greedy people will start mining this before they go on. And right now, if you go up to the mining area, they say that what kind of experience do you have? And you gotta have some kind of experience, like heavy equipment or some kind of experience on mining, and um, to get a job up there. They never, the government never asked us and then put up this Hopi Tribal Council. So what they're doing is everything is illegal. Moving the Navajo people out and strip mining over here. People disagree with the mining ever since then because of the, there's a lot of wrongdoing that the company has been doing to the uh, uh, culture and to religion, belief, and also through the uh, uh, contaminating the land, water, the air. The people were talking about it, yeah, because that whole Black Mesa is a sacred ground. There's a lot of areas up on Black Mesas are, uh, have uh, the herbal medicine that they use to cure sickness and use for the ceremonies and also like tobaccos for the ceremony. So that's the way the pe people look at it is uh, they want the whole Peabody out of Black Mesa. So uh, so-called prophecy is actually is not, some, not uh, something mysterious, it's just like common sense. We know, you know what can happen. Like we know that after uh, winter, spring will come. If we don't follow those instructions, if we get off of that instructions, the world might turn over if we're not 
purified. Oh, by this way, I'm a winter, but he's at our bitter neck at Pano at put no away. The mill, it already started. The nature's already telling us the earthquakes, and this winter, the flowers has bloomed. That means that, that we're real close to the purification, so we already started. We're already starting a purification. But yet, in the glory of all this uh, technology and, and might that we have acquired, um, we remain blind. Certain things happen in the past that tell us something's happening to the land and life and the people. And the plant life also tell us, flowers, different types will tell us also that something is happening and something is coming soon. We came to live in peaceful way upon this continent or this land and life the Great Spirit gave us. We were not to fight each other. We are not to create and destroy things senselessly. We all have certain religious instructions, but it seems some different religious groups, societies, seem to have forgotten those basic instructions, teachings, and warnings, and are doing something just the opposite running after more things that are not in line with the law of great spirit of lost nature and creating this problem. We are all given instructions to take care of this land and life according to the law of great spirit of law of nature. And that is what I'm doing. And I hope that you leaders or you who are belonging to some of the society that may be able to help correct these things better hurry up and look into this and correct them as soon as possible. We are real and deep, deep, deep trouble right now. And it's time that modern society, governments, people, everyone, right, make a serious, serious beginning in respecting not only nature, by the people who have protected nature, like indigenous people, and redeem, atone. And we cannot say, well, it's not of my concern because uh, somebody did the stealing and the murdering for me so many generations ago. The fact that we are enjoying wealth, this technology and the resources, that doesn't take away that we don't have any more responsibility. I see um, the, the return a uh, successful return to the nature war, or that means voluntarily, not by force, because nature will force us into that if we don't do it ourselves, is to empower um, the Aboriginal people, not just only the Native American, but all over the world, Australia, Africa, whatever is left of that wisdom, of that knowledge, that education. So if we fix this right, then maybe a few people will be safe around this world, not just here in Hopi, but all, all around the world, that will survive this purification. And we would all meet here in this continent, which we call heaven. Then all the people will come up to, to Hopi Nation to start a new life and live a long, happy, lasting life. After that, there will be no wars, anything like that. We will live in peace and start a new life again. This is, this is, this is what Martin has told me. So we need to start working for the, the Creator to survive this.